everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into another top 10 video for you guys. Today, you know, we are just removed from WrestleMania, right? WrestleMania, at the time of recording, I'm actually going to be posting this the night after WrestleMania, more than likely. So I don't know what happened. Hopefully, it was an amazing show. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that probably, if I could predict the future, maybe Edge won the Universal Championship. Maybe AJ Styles won the Raw Tag Titles. Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley won both of their championship matches and maybe Seth Rollins rocked some sick ass gear but besides that guys today since we just got so many epic WWE action figure reveals you know over the weekend at Wrestlemania access or whatever you want to call that it wasn't act access but it was you know it was a reveal right they would have been on display they weren't on display this year because of the thing and the stupidness so let's dive into my top 10 figures that I'm most hyped for from the reveals that we got the other day now I'm going to leave a challenge for you guys if you guys would like to comment down below what you think my top three are Go ahead and do that right now before we dive into the top 10. And now that you got those three predictions down there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and dive into my top 10 countdown. So starting out at number 10, guys, I'm going to go with the Survivor Series Bret Hart. Now, this one may be a shocker to a lot of you, but, I mean, this gear, we've been waiting on this gear for so long, and we finally have it in our grasp. It also seems that Bret Hart is not going to have hair in his face with this head sculpt. It looks like the, the potential for this Bret Hart head sculpt is phenomenal. Hopefully, it will be his best one yet. I really hope so. I know a lot of Bret Hart collectors have been earning for not only this attire, but just a Bret Hart that, uh, you know, they can sink their teeth into, if you will, because I feel like all of them have been kind of lackluster. I don't know. It's just, Bret Hart is just one of those guys that they've never really perfectly nailed, I don't think. So I think this is a really great figure. Coming in at number nine, guys, we have Elite Series 88 MVP. Now, the only reason I'm really hyped for this is, first of all, we haven't had an Elite MVP in a really long time, right? We've had two different ones. We had Elite 1, we had Elite 9. Back here again, Elite 88. Not only is it a Hurt Business MVP, but getting this head sculpt, we're going to have to get a couple of them unless we get a basic MVP. Nothing is in the works. I don't, th I don't think I remember seeing any leaked MVPs as far as like basics are concerned, like a suited figure. So we're going to have to get this head sculpt and put it on a suited body for an updated MVP and stuff like that. Can't wait to make that fix up on surgery. So that should be really fun. Of course, we will have to get two because I want to have a wrestling gear and a suited gear. Maybe I can finally replace the Elite 1 and 9 mashup that I use in my pick fed so hopefully that will be something that we can do but coming in number nine guys is elite 88 mvp moving on to number eight guys is going to be the new cane basic now you guys probably know like when i can replace a figure in my collection with a newer figure with a more improved figure or like a new head sculpt or something like that that gets me super excited that's like one of my favorite things about collecting and collecting wrestling figures is all the different fix-ups we can do replacing other parts with other stuff doing surgery all those things are really fun so this Kane Basic getting uh, finally getting a new Kane Basic mask or a new head sculpt for Kane is huge and uh, you guys know how long I've been talking about that on this channel we we are like long long overdue for a new Kane mask sculpt and I'm finally excited to do so here with this Kane at number eight and I can't believe I put a basic here it's mainly the head sculpt you guys know basics are only good for knee pads and head sculpts nowadays but it's still something to note and I am excited for coming in at number seven you guys probably won't see this coming but it's gonna be Elite 86 Carmella now you're probably thinking what in the blue hell's wrong with MDT we need to go check his temperature well Brad the only way I'll say this is that you know just like the cane basic the uh the Carmella Elite the the fan central I remember when we first got it right we were like oh this is just amazing look at this Carmella it's the best Carmella ever made look at it it's just so beautiful look at it just look at it. Are you looking at it? And after I got that figure in hand, I was like, bro, it's really sick. Like, the money gear's sick. The head sculpt's not bad. Uh, it's not perfect. But the, the articulation and the awkwardness of that Carmella is so bad. And I can't stand using it for predictions videos and stuff like that. You never know when women are just going to come barging into the pick fed as well. So this new Carmella is going to be outstanding as far as just being able to move her around and stand up. Like, the women's figures since, I'd say, Elite 72 have pretty much slapped. So... I think that this is going to be another great one. Like, of course, the basics are still trash, but uh, we're, we've slowly built up a beautiful collection of women's elites that are actually viable, and they're actually really, really good and fun to pose around. So this Carmel is no different, and I can finally replace that god-awful other elite, and it will be so nice. It'll be just like the Elite 74 Natalia, but this time with Carmella. Next up, guys, is the Seth Rollins Battle Pack, number six. Now, I didn't get to address this in a video. I never made a separate video on this, but this was not in the 
reveals posted until after I had already made my video when I thought all the reveals were posted. But this is a beautiful Seth Rollins head sculpt. It's practically the Elite 64 and Top Talents, but in a man bun. Now, I will say, I think that the forehead may be a little bit slightly off. I may have to, like, unglue it and re-glue it and position it or add, like, some paint to the front to give it a little bit better of a hairline. However, this head sculpt is sick as shit and it's going to make for some epic fix-ups on the rest of our collections. Promo gear Rollins, suited Rollins, whatever you want to do, man, we're going to have some epic Seth Rollins here. So we'll have like a regular serious face or kind of godfather face like I used to call it. And then we have the battle pack head sculpt and that is number six for Rollins because this, this is actually a really good basic. Like you have a, a lot of great details going on and the Drew McIntyre in this pack is also good because it's the updated skin tone for Drew McIntyre, but it's the pissed off head sculpt, which is really nice to see. Seth Rollins comes in at number six. Coming at number five, guys, is going to be Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 9. Now, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Hulk Hogan. However, this figure is great, and his his Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hogan was so good that uh, it makes me excited for this one. I, I don't know how you could not be excited. If you own the Hollywood Hogan, you got to be excited for this Hogan just because of how nice his first one was. I know how good it's going to be. I think the skin tone should be really great. I think subs will be cool. I think a cloth shirt on this guy will be really sick up on the shelf. And yeah, I mean, uh, you know, again, never say never, man. Hulk Hogan could just stroll on into MDT at any given moment, and it would be really fun to use this Hulk Hogan. And it just looks like an awesome figure. So number five is Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. Coming to number four, guys, we have the Elite 88 Roman Reigns. Now, you're probably wondering why this is so high. Well, I mean, I, first of all, I've grown to really love Roman. He's probably one of my favorite performers right now now on the main roster. He's just so damn good, man. Just the, just I, I just love this guy. I think he's fantastic. The updated tattoo on the back. We finally get our back tattoo. The gold gauntlet looks sick. Now, I'm hoping that apparently Elite 88 is when the double jointed arms are supposed to start. So, if that is the is if that is the case, man, maybe this Roman Reigns is going to have double jointed arms. And if that is going to be the case, too, that has got me really, really excited for this figure and that's why it's so high. I think the double jointed arms potential is up there, but it is also an updated Roman Reigns. I think we'll probably get some sick ass accessories with this guy. Hopefully, the head sculpt won't be the same one we see here. Maybe it'll be a little bit different and maybe a little bit better, but Elite 88 Roman is number four. Coming in at number three, guys, we have the Ultimate Edition John Cena. I don't know how you could not see this coming in my top three. If you don't have this in my in your top three predictions for my top three, I don't know who the hell you've been watching, Brad. Ultimate John Cena right here is so beautiful, man. Based off of WrestleMania 22, been waiting on this gear for Mattel. I hope that the shirt is no Velcro. I really enjoy this. He does have the butterfly joints like we discussed. This is one of my favorite looks of John Cena with the black and white. You can't see me. Chain gang armbands, white bicep band. Just God in heaven. This is gorgeous, man. You put that screaming head sculpt on this. Pose it with a spinner title. Ooh, I'm just getting hyped thinking about it. So Ultimate Edition John Cena is number three. Number two is going to be Elite 86 Seth Rollins. Now we do have some more images of this Seth Rollins, which I also didn't get to cover in the reveals video. Would have been really nice to see. I would have liked to have these in the reveal video. We didn't get them, so here I am updating with more images. It looks like he's going to come with a kendo stick. He's not going to have, you know, uh, a hair down head sculpt, which is kind of unfortunate. He won't come with a cloth jacket or anything like that. He does come with his entrance vest, some interchangeable hands, and his... Uh, uh, his kendo stick there, but uh, this this figure is sick as hell, man. I'm really happy with the pink color they chose. I was afraid it would probably be a little bit too purple or it wouldn't be the right hue, but it looks pretty damn perfect to me, and it is exactly what I envisioned when I pre-ordered so many because I can acetone off these question marks and I can make fantasy gear. I'm probably going to make an MDT Live Seth Rollins out of it, and I think that we got some great stuff coming for this Seth Rollins figure. So he had to come in number two. You guys know I love Seth Rollins, and there's so many great things we can do with this guy that it just has my mind racing like a hobo. So that leaves us to the number one figure, guys, and that is going to be the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. Now, a lot of reasons why this is number one. First of all, I love Jeff Hardy. I think that uh, we're going to get plenty of fix-ups out of this guy. I can't wait to change out some parts and stuff, do some different face paints. I hope that this figure is really easy to obtain. I hope it's not like other Ultimate Editions where it shoots like $9,000 through the roof. I'm hoping that we're able to, you know, grasp a lot of these, get them in hand. Uh, maybe they'll even shoot down 
in price. Maybe we can get like a bunch of them on Amazon for $25. Comes around Christmas time, they drop to $18 for some freaking reason. I just buy 76 of them. So hopefully that will be the case and uh, we'll be able to save a little money on the way and it's not like $200. I mean, even I might even collect some of these mock. Like that's how beautiful I think this is going to be in packaging. And uh, the screaming head sculpt, beautiful. Plenty of customizing options and I hope to God he's on ball joints. I don't think he will be, but I'm clinging to the hope that they'll give him ball joints for better posability, but we'll have to see about that when we get to it. But this Jeff Hardy's excellent, and that is my number one figure that I'm most hyped for coming out of the WrestleMania 37 reveals, guys. Let me know down below if you guys predicted it correctly, but also, let's go ahead and get into a random shout-out before we get the hell out of here. And this shout-out is gonna go to Logan Minkler, who says, I'm sickened by the fact that Jeff Hardy won't be featured on any part of WrestleMania. Of course, when you guys are seeing this, it is after WrestleMania, so he may have showed up in the main event and just beat the hell out of everybody. It, it, I don't know. I can't predict the future. But at the time of recording, Jeff Hardy was not on the show, and it made me sick. Dolph Ziggler I don't even think was on the show unless something changes between you know now and the show but yeah man I mean that's absolute bullshit that Jeff Hardy's not on there it ties into our video perfectly that you know I mean he's not getting any younger man like I, I really think that he needs to get one last hoorah one last beautiful babyface Jeff Hardy WWE championship run before it's all said and done but I don't know if that's not the case man go let him join Matt in AEW and have some great matches and runs before he has to call it quits on his career but yeah man that made me upset too but huge shout out to logan for the comment man thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like wwe did when they didn't put jeff hardy on the effing wrestlemania card you cross the line i've been beaten